Hey guys, welcome to another video. Now in this video, I'm going through five of the scariest games. Ones that probably would keep you up at night if you played them in the dark. And, well, all these games are available on some sort of platform, so if you want to play one, it should be easy to get a hold of one. Without further ado, here is the video, and I hope you enjoy it. Fear Fear is quite an old game, and by far considered one of the best in its series, if not the best. Now, Fear has you taking the role of a member in the Fear Team, or, well, what it stands for, First Encounter Assault Recon. You are sent in to eliminate Alma, who is a little girl uh, that the agency has been doing experiments on. She's become paranormal and, well, quite, quite the little murderer. Now as you play, Alma will stalk you throughout the game, peering in the corner of your eye, running across the hallways, and just doing general creepy stuff, jump scaring you or appearing in front of you. Now, this definitely adds to psychological horror, because you don't know when or where she is, and you always feel like you're being watched. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 So, in Five Nights at Freddy's 4, you take the role of a child, who is, well, supposed to stay awake till 6am, starting at 12. Now, this is a bit creepy. And why? Well, think about it. It's, it's normal Five Nights at Freddy's, but the animatronics aren't so cute and cuddly. They're destroyed, ripped, and now have very sharp teeth. And the game has taken a more of an audio tone as well, requiring you to listen to hear breathing. And if you don't hear that breathing, then you're safe. But hear that breathing, you could end up dead. Now this game, well, everyone knows about this game, and everyone knows why it's so scary, so I'm going to move on to the next one. The Boogeyman. The Boogeyman, well, some say it's a Five Nights at Freddy's clone, and some say it's something unique. I myself believe that it's quite unique, as it, yeah, it has some features from Five Nights at Freddy's, but it's unique in the way that you've got to pay attention to sounds and... Manage power on your flashlight, you're not using cameras or anything like that. And you're not being chased by heaps of animatronics. No, you're being chased by the boogeyman. And there are a lot of distractions in this game. Lights can go out, it can start snowing outside your window, creating noise. Lots of different things to distract you from the boogeyman. Now... This is what makes this game unique and scary, is the fact that noises are your main focus here. Oh god, I think I bugged out the game! Oh, I'm, so, I'm so dead! I'm so dead! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, okay. Oh. Silent Hill Homecoming Silent Hill Homecoming is surprisingly the only one I've actually played in the series. And, well, in Homecoming, you follow the journey of Alex Shepard, a soldier returning from war to his hometown of Shepard's Glen, where he finds the town in disarray, and his younger brother is missing. As he continues on his search to find his younger brother, he discovers more about the Order, which is a cult, as well as the town's history and his own past. Dead Space Dead Space 1 is arguably the best Dead Space that they've ever made, and a lot of people agree with that. In Dead Space, the player controls Isaac Clarke, a ship systems engineer who must fight his way through a mining ship infested with an alien scourge. The crew had been slaughtered, and their corpses reanimated into creatures known as necromorphs. Various types of necromorphs appear throughout the game, each with different abilities and requiring different tactics to defeat. And the game is played in a third person, which can take away from the creepiness, but the atmosphere is done well and will make you on edge throughout the whole game. 
Hey guys, thank you for taking the time to check out that video. Please leave a like as it lets me know that you liked it. If you didn't, then don't leave a like, that's fine. But, subscribing really does help this channel, so if you would please do that, that'd be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you for watching.